Hello everybody and welcome back to Broken Brand. And I have found myself once again going down a rabbit hole into unknown places. And I came across an article from a website I've never heard of. But I did confirm from multiple sources online that this is actually happening. A lot of them Japanese, but some here in America that actually uh, were from architectural journals and things like that. So if you don't believe me, you can go look for yourself. But just south of Japan, they're going to build a three-story permanent museum for displaying and celebrating the artwork of video games. And I am thrilled because I do think this is one of the under underappreciated mediums for artwork. Games aren't just not games. Some of them are absolute masterpieces in their drawing, in their collectiveness of how they put together from simple pixels at the very beginning to now things that look almost real. And this is awesome to me. Now, it is being built in Japan by a real estate developer who has large ties into the gaming community, a lot of investments, and uh, what studio did it say? There it is. Kawhi Tecmo. I'm sure I butchered that, and I'm sorry. But I'm excited because, I mean, there's games that, you know, oh, well, they're not going to have stuff like 8-bit games, you know, like stuff we grew up on in NES or on the Atari, and I bet they will. Because although Atari was very, very rough graphics, I mean, stuff like that is where we came from. And it's only fitting that this be in Japan, as they are probably one of the largest, single-handedly one of the largest creators of video games. The most influential, probably. You have Sony and Nintendo headquartered in japan so absolutely this makes sense it's there and this is just reason number 2372 of why i need to visit japan now this building will not be completed until 2027 although they did break ground back in february of 2024 so it's going to take about three years to build and this artist drawing rendering right here is I believe I saw in one of the architectural journals, it's about 32,000 square feet of garden that will surround this museum. And that's just wonderful. It's not just going to be some building where you visit. Every, even the approach to the building is going to be gorgeous and beautiful and reflection of nature into the art that is nature. The art that was wonderfully designed and lead you right into design to designs by programmers and artists through the decades of video games and i mean i can't wait to see what what installments they put in there how they do go about putting these exhibits together uh none of the articles really broke down the details of how it's going to be if it's just going to be displays pictures i'm hoping we get like full-on statues and things uh, interactive i mean at this point it's got to be interactive right i mean it, it's got it there's got to be some interactive parts to it and i'm for it and i do hope they do shout out to indie creators that have done marvelous work outside the mainstream video games um but i'm not going to hold my breath i do suspect it'll be largely japanese based games that get the museum treatment but that's okay it's their museum and it's built in japan to celebrate video game art and i'm not going to knock them for doing something that's culturally appropriate for them i, I want to celebrate it it's awesome and i don't know what to say but i just it's just one of those things that are like this is so cool i didn't even know how i got here but i'm for it you know as gamers, we see things like all the time and that are basically, we play a game where like, this is just gorgeous. And there are games where you're just like, 
oh, you got to take a picture. And that's why so many games nowadays have a camera feature built into it to take stills of the panoramic views of where you are so you can see and save those images and reflect on them because some of today's video games are just absolutely stunning and beautiful. And I can't wait to see. I really can't. Um, this is just this is just a cool concept that, you know, uh, and it's not the first museum that is based on video games that I know of. I know for a fact that, uh, uh, I forget what suburb of Dallas, but one of the suburbs of Dallas, Texas, I've taken my kids to it, is the video game museum, and it's largely interactive, and it's huge, and it's just a fun day, and it's just, you get to spend the day just playing around and looking and learning the history of video games. It's wonderful from from Atari to arcade to modern gaming. It's great. And I suspect that's going to be a portion of this museum. And I just can't really wait to see it. And I just wanted to share this because I don't know anybody else that knows about it. I asked a couple friends. They said, really? And I was like, yeah, check it out. And they're like, wow, that's cool. And... I, I do want to say out just one little caveat. TikToker, TikTokers and other social Instagram people like that, especially from America, stop messing up Japan for the rest of us before we get there, okay? Please, stop it. And if you know what that's in reference to, there's several people that have gotten several areas of Japan locked down for all foreigners that you can't get into because of social media people pulling pranks and doing other crazy stuff in there. Stop ruining Japan. Leave them alone. We like what they're doing. It's cool. It's awesome. They're making a video game art museum. Leave them alone. I want to go. <laughs> so, on that fun note, this is just a wild dive down into whatever hole I fell into. But I hope I fall into more interesting ones so I can bring them to you. Let me know what you're doing, how you're feeling. Press a like, please. And just let's talk about this. What characters do you want to see? What games do you want to see featured in a museum like this? I'm interested because I can't be the only one interested in this. So until next time, my friends, as always, I love you all and there's nothing you can do about it.